Hey guys and girls, uh, I know that I promised that I would start uploading my um, next vinyl update, and I will. I just um, I have to do. I've watched there's there's four parts, and I've watched them about half a dozen times before. I've done any actual editing to know where I have to do the edits. Um, I've never done that before, but I want to make sure that I've really got these four perfect because I I I think they're they're some of the better uh, clips that I've done as far as how everything looks, as far as the the production's much better, the lighting's much better, and so on and so forth. So I want to take my time and get to them. But I will. Pro I'm, uh, I'm I'm getting. I will. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I will get to those. Uh, so, just bear with me. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I've been writing ideas because I haven't really been able to do a whole lot. Um, so basically, sleep, sleep, and more sleep, trying to get over this thing. Uh, that. I thought it was allergies, but kind of turned into a full onset of the crud. So, but um, since I haven't been able to haul out a lot of videos because I haven't been able to uh, stay over my computer long enough without risking blowing something nasty onto it, and I won't go into any more detail, but that's why I haven't uploaded anything because I. I haven't felt well enough that I haven't been watching another video for that reason, but uh, to that, uh, I did mention this in the Facebook uh, page. I um, was watching some stuff from Hall of Fame stuff, and I was watching some stuff from LJ, and it said uh, that I was unsubscribed when I was watching the videos, and it happened on a couple different videos. But it still said I was subscribed to both of those channels. And I didn't unsubscribe by accident. So if something messed if something's messed up, uh like I said, um I'm i I'm still subscribed. Isn't it? I didn't unsubscribe to anybody uh by by by, by on accident or on purpose. So if 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 something happened, there's there's some, there's something wrong with the page. I didn't do it myself, but um Anyway, so I've been I've had a lot of time to think and I've been thinking a lot uh about the uh about the about the uh about the con the concerts that I've gone to since I haven't been able to do all that much. Um so I've had a lot of time to think and that's what I've been thinking a lot about. And I started thinking about it from a different um uh, a, by the different perspective, and um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll enlighten everybody to where I'm going with this. Uh, I will have to mention I did try a video on the subject before, but it was again from a different perspective, and so it didn't go over well. But the way I'm doing the way I'm I'm doing it, the way I've been thinking, kind of you know. Kind of keeps in line with everything, I think. So, <laughs> uh, let me, you know, just just bear with me if you, uh, if you don't uh, if, you, if you don't follow what I'm what, what I'm doing. But um, hopefully, I'll make sense now. Um, what I what I mean by all this uh, jibber jabber is. I started to think about music and video games and how many bands I discovered through video games. And I'm not talking about rock band or guitar hero or DJ hero or any of that other stuff. Um, because I think that while that's an interesting and great way to discover bands, that's more for... I don't know what to call them any, any, anymore because you wouldn't call them the in, MTV crowd, but I guess the um, the download crowd, the 
and I don't want to say the YouTube crowd either, but you know that you know the I you know the typical top forty. You know this is all I listen to, but this is but this is cool now. So I'm gonna check out all the other bands and that you know that kind of stuff. And ooh, I bought Guitar Hero, Metallica, and you know, metal and all this um, stupid stupidness. But um, you know I I really started to think about it and there's a shit ton of bands that I had my first introduction to their music through a video game and this and this goes back you know to you know before you know teenage years even I I this my first introduction is, is bad and suicidal tendencies was one of them they uh psycho vision in uh in the Pro Skater. This was uh, my that was my introduction to them through this game, although I didn't know it at the time. Um, and in a lot of these cases, I didn't, I didn't, I knew who these guys were by because this, because the song title was in a playlist or, or what have you. But I didn't know anything about them or anything like that. Um, I, I of course knew later what the stuff was. But, um, yeah, the first introduction to Suicidal Tendencies, Psycho Vision, on the soundtrack. This game. The same thing with Rage Against the Machine, Gorilla Radio. You know, and it's kind of interesting how both cases had to, they used songs that had, had profanity on them, how they, uh, the poor job that they did of, um, editing them, but thankfully they didn't use any audio mutes, because that would have been disgusting. Um, but then there's also, uh, and I'm sorry I, I don't have uh, the actual cover that game. This is a replacement copy, because mine got stolen a long time ago, but this is a Gran Turismo 3, so a racing game. Uh, they had uh, She Sells Sanctuary by The Cult. And Turbo Low by Judas Priest was my introduction to both both those bands um, with this game. Um, although Turbo Low is not or Turbo, uh, I don't like either one. But there you go. Um, you know, uh, this guy right here. Um, although I had already had my introduction to him and already had the album that the song appeared on, but uh, they use what was it? Um, I don't want to stop by Ozzy um, on the soundtrack. This game they used uh, "You Wouldn't Know" by uh, the group uh, Hell Yeah. Two excellent um, songs on the game. There's also uh, "Disturbed." It was inside the fire. These in this game. Uh, but, uh, they were, they were used, uh, in this series. Uh, there's also Power Man 5000. I think that was, uh, in one of the games as well. I think that was the first SmackDown vs. Raw, but it's been a while since I've played these, so I don't remember exactly, but there's, there's another one. Um, then there's also... Um, I had already been introduced to this band through the uh, um, through that WWE actually, but um, Motorhead, Ace of Spades. Um, you know, also introduction to the Ramones um, on the soundtrack to this game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's incredible. And, um, you know, this one, you know, already knew who they were, but having Appetite for Destruction in the trailer for this game was like one of, you know, at the time, that was obviously my favorite commercial or trailer or what have you, you know, favorite 30 seconds of television back then. <laughs> Um, but this was the introduction to <coughs> a whole bunch of people 
namely living color with cult of personality and a bunch of other stuff and that was you know totally amazing and you don't turn me into a friend of theirs ever since that I was blown away and then there's, there's one more piece I'm gonna go grab and uh, maybe it'll you know put a nice little bow on this and wrap it up nicely And that's um, one of the best video game soundtracks, period. It's the um, soundtrack to the game uh, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, it's a western, um, for those that are not familiar with it. And um, for a time, it was only available on Red Black. They didn't even have download yet um, when I picked this up. Um, they have since released it in a digital format, but they don't even have CD. Just this right here, and and now digital, uh, which is in incredible because the music in this game was, you know, it, it not only blew me away, but it blew everybody else away. Um, but uh, there you have it. And I will get to the uh, um, the vinyl update videos. Um, there are four parts. Um, two videos are about seven and a half. There's one that's about three and a half minutes, and there's one that's twelve and a half. Uh, one of the parts, though, I will have to wait for a while because I just bought something, and so I'll have to add that to the end of one of those videos and um, prob probably will be the last one since it's an album that's similar in theme with the ones that were showed in that video so um, stay tuned for that and I will get I will get cracking on those and I will get cracking on a lot of other ideas that I have uh, including uh, two new albums in my metal classics and uh, a bunch of other things so thank you very much